Occasionally, I'll just get a sudden, powerful urge to grab a pigeon off the street and shove it in my bag. But apart from that, like, everything's fine. Welcome back, you lovely degenerates! It's part two of Me IRL featuring Me IRL featuring two Me IRL for Me IRL. So go check out part one if you haven't after you finish this video. Anyways, gotta get these things out of the way so we can get right into the content. Yeah! <laughs> I am proud to announce that I am making a bad decision, but I'm not telling y'all what it is so you can't stop me! <laughs> oh, sh I made a bad decision, and why didn't any of you stop me? First day is doctor. Patient. I accidentally ate a ton of wasabi because I thought it was an avocado. Me, scribbling down notes, patient loves avocado. Avocado lied to her, was actually wasabi. Betrayed. Patient has broken heart. Will die soon. So sad. Now. <laughs> Washington Post. A woman mistook wasabi for avocado. The shock led her to broken heart syndrome. Okay, so like, like, do you ever just like talk to someone and you feel like you chose the wrong dialogue option in like a video game? You can just like feel their friendship meter dropping like oh god they hated that everyone dislike that they're all staring at me and they hate me if you say mental illness three times in the mirror someone with a live laugh love t-shirt will appear behind you and ask if you've tried going outside if only it was that easy Weekends are a scam. You spend one day exhausted and the other day anxious. Like what like what the fuck was that? You know, sometimes you just gotta re-binge Avatar the Last Airbender, because life has lost all meaning, and and the only person that, that's able to console you is, is is Uncle Iroh. If for some reason you haven't seen Avatar the Last Airbender, I cannot recommend it enough. It's beyond worth the time it takes to watch it. Trust me. My optician. Does a little vague, huh. After I say, yeah, these lenses are about the same for the third time in a row, me, to myself, this is awful. I'm gonna get a bad grade in I, something that is both normal to fear and possible to achieve. Me, at 14, can't wait to travel the world once I'm earning my own money. Me, me, now? Mustn't forget that Tupperware at work. <laughs> it's my only one. <laughs> Leftover Little Caesars I've brought in. Six dollar extra most bestest was all I could afford. <sighs> Don't mind me, I'm, I'm just casually remembering the time that I brought Little Caesars and Tupperware to, to my desk job. Because <laughs> it was all I could afford. Stress free area ahead. Yeah, this, uh, this seems trustworthy. I think it's the Fae trying to appeal to millennials. Wait, so you're telling me that you just take my eye color or my name, and I get to live here rent-free and for eternity? Me, a girl only playing single-player games. You know, I think I'll try some online gaming. Learn to play better. It's the girl gamer. Let's just, just, just use your whole. Go die, you bitch. Gaming is for men. Looks like her boyfriend's playing for her. Go back to the kitchen. Never again. You see, a lot of the gamer girls never had the misfortune of dealing with the hellscape that was 2012 Xbox Live. Cover your ears, audience. I'm just gonna teach the gamer girls how to be racist. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> Alright, so when I was like 11, I was getting bullied by this girl. My mom let me know she heard her parents were getting divorced. And to tell her that neither of them wanted her, which I mean, I, I, I did, and it worked, but... <laughs> but, but like, mom! <laughs> mom out here causing years of therapy just to make a point. If you keep your AC any higher than 75, please don't invite me to your terrarium, you lizard. So, uh, my dumbass, the first time I read this, thought this was like D&D &D armor class. I was like, holy fucking shit, an armor class is 75? And I realized it was air conditioning and felt like an idiot. 
I don't mean to brag, but, uh, mine was for free. Anxiety disorders. Uh, now only $45. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to return mine, please. Net profit of $45. You've given me so many scars, but I still love you. So, okay, I... I, I know that might sound troubled or deep, but I'm, I'm just talking about my cat. An absolute goblin, but I love them. I have a question for God! Why does the tiredness on the couch never translate to the bed? And I demand to know why! This is like one of those things where I'll like curl up under my desk and pass out. But the moment that I'm like, oh cool, I'll just go lay down on an actual bed. My body's like, nah, nah, we're just gonna stare at the ceiling for hours. <laughs> you should have just slept on the floor. The back pain was inevitable! The Oprah Magazine. Introverted? Here's how to be more social. You know, just, just once, I'd like to see an article like, Extroverted, here's some tips on how to be quiet and reflective. Can't stop thinking about the airport jungle juice. Empty all liquids here. Hey, someone give me the big straw. I'm going to drink the jungle juice. And none of you are going to stop me. The views of time and space will be unlocked as I slurp upon the forbidden nectar of the airport jungle juice! You all call me a coward, but I beg upon thee! Who's the coward now? With this, this gift of life, I show you that you, you are the one who is unacceptable! <coughs> oh, I gotta stop doing that. The light inside is broken, but I still work. Me too, machine. <laughs> Me too. If you can't hide a crime scene, just pretend you're a victim. Father! Father, it was not me, I swear! It was my scoundrel of a brother! He came in like a mad, feral animal and just tipped my litter box, my poor litter box, all over your precious floor! Please, Father, have pity! me, waiting for the phone to stop ringing so I can text you and ask you what you want. Huh. Huh. I, I feel like this is mostly just an introvert problem because I can't imagine extroverts ha do doing this. Usually they just immediately answer the phone like a psychopath. Uh oh, you freaking moron! You just got corduroyed! Tag your friends to totally corduroy them! Yeah! Mom, I tried to raise you to be decent human beings, but no, I get corduroyed by my own children! Netflix. Hey, I ought to have filled the movie name you were searching for. Oh cool, that must mean you have the movie. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> no! Only cheap knockoffs. We lost the rights many years ago to Hulu. <laughs> hey, so uh, why why was there a bite taken out of these motherfuckers? I just I I want to know. Well, okay, I I unfortunately have an answer because of me. A squishy thing needs to be bitten. I I I, I don't I don't know. I just remember when I was younger, I had the uncontrollable urge just to bite one of these. I... Ugh. You don't wanna know who really stresses me out? M me. It's... It's me. I, I... I stress me out. This is it! This is the one! They're all thinking mean things about me. I mean, yeah, it's, it's probably because you're sitting in the corner. Everyone else is having a good time. Go out there and socialize. But wait, whoa. Hey, what if your friendship meter goes down? What, what? Maybe you should just be in the corner. Maybe you should just leave. Just leave the party. Don't tell anyone. Don't say a damn word and just disappear. Be mysterious. So I, uh, I've cracked my rib. My doctor gave me a list of things to avoid, which includes sex and laughter. And I said that shouldn't be an issue because I'm single and miserable and, well, 
in laugh, which is, I mean, that's great because now the pain of embarrassment masks the pain of my cracked rib. Kids who used to like this are into BDSM. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Stands for Bible Discussion Study Media. <laughs> I hate this. What's the worst gift you've ever received? I once received this Super Troopers movie. My life. Bud. <laughs> And an electronic crossword puzzle game from my boyfriend. God damn it, Kevin. <laughs> Humanity in 2016 when a guy combined a pen and a pineapple. <sighs> I can't be the only one who just despised this with a passion. It was one just goblin of an individual in my class who, who would not stop referencing this or playing this and thought he was just the king of comedy for showing everyone this quote-unquote gift or more like a fucking curse of humanity. The love of your life will appear in front of you unexpectedly. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Dudes will like make zero moves in their crush and then proceed to post shit like this. Maybe I'm just meant to be lonely. Why am I here? Just to suffer? Then they'll go and like post Joker memes and Sigma male grind set like, you know, when the Sigma male gets angry, the alphas shudder. There are actual people like this, by the way. It, it's, uh, if you do this unironically, please, I'm not mad. Just reevaluate. Fuck Zodiac signs. How do you put on glue? We got number one. This is a solid zero to 10. It's gross, it stays wet forever, doesn't properly glue the thing down, and it stains the paper above it. Not worth using. If you use this, reevaluate your life choices because this is revolting. Two, perfect square. I mean, it's good. Problem is, is you end up with glue coming out from the creases and it gets sticky and everywhere and it's just kind of, I'll give this one like a six out of 10. It, it's okay. Three. Never actually seen anyone do this before. I would imagine it's pretty good. Um, only problem is, is that you end up with like areas where you can like gently pull it up a little bit. So it's, you know, it's not as bad as one where the entire fucking paper isn't fully attached. But I mean, hey, I'll give that one like maybe a, another six out of 10. Four. Ah, I mean, it's good. I just, I feel like it could be a little better. The middle's kind of iffy and there's globbiness on the sides. I just, uh, it has similar issues that one does with the globbiness. So probably like a five out of 10, maybe, maybe six out of 10 on a good day. Five, uh, it's like four but with a dot in the middle, more sturdy, uh, easy seven out of 10. And then we have six, nothing but perfection. I, I mean, not really. I mean, in all honesty, this is what I use and it's, it's just, it's just gross. There, there's, the moral of the story, there's no good way to fucking glue things down unless you're using a glue stick. Um, 8 out of 10 because of personal bias. Me breaks down crying in the privacy of my own home. My brain, you're faking your emotions for attention. You're just doing this because you think it makes for a cool personal narrative. You piece of shit. Get up off the ground. You're just lying to yourself. You're just hoping someone's gonna catch you being all dramatic, and then you're gonna be validated, you little piece of fucking shit. Stop making this about yourself. You know, I'd, I'd second listen through. I should probably see a therapist. Sh sh shouldn't I? Me, I'm going to sleep. My, my brain. Dude, what are you gonna do with your life, huh? <laughs> Please just let me sleep, not now. You're wasting your time. You only have one chance and this is what you're doing with it? Actually, yeah, this is what I'm doing with it. I've got one shot, I'm doing my best, and that's what matters. Tomorrow's another day. This goes for you, that one person who's probably watching this while going to sleep. Hey, you made it to the outro. If you're uh, here right now, don't forget to check out uh, today's other upload because there were two today. And uh, yeah, do the liking, subscribing, ring that notification bell. Check out my links in the description. Go follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. Do the, the usual stuff that, 
you know, other more popular YouTubers ask you to do. Yeah.